Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the data flow diagram for online shopping website that is the level 2 DFD at the admin side. And this is a part 2 lecture. In the previous lecture, we had discussed the level 2 DFD processes. And in this lecture, we are discussing the three different processes in the admin side for the online shopping website. So, my dear student, before going to the lecture, a data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in term of input and output. A data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in terms of input and output. The data flow diagram contains some symbols for drawing the data flows between these processes and objects. The four fundamental basic symbols available are data flow, process, entity and data store. A data flow are pipelines through the packet of information flow and these data flows are represented by a line with an arrow head. The second one is a process or task. These are tasks performed by the system and the processes are represented by circle or ellipse. Third one is the entity and the entities are objects of the system. A source or destination data of a system are represented as entities and these are the endpoints of the system and the entities are represented by rectangular box. The fourth one is a data store is a place where the data is stored. These data stores or databases are represented by two parallel lines. So the four basic symbols available are data flow which is represented by a line with an arrow head. Second one is a process represented by an ellipse or a circle. Third one is the entity which is represented by a rectangular box and fourth one is a data store which is represented by two parallel lines. So my dear student, in the previous two lectures we had discussed the data flow diagram for online shopping website. In the zeroth level or level zero data flow diagram of this shopping website we had discussed two entities that is a website admin and user entity and there is a one process known as online portal process and between these process and entities the data are flowing in between and in the level 1 dfd at the admin side we had discussed five independent processes which are login manage category manage item manage order and manage report processes and in the last lecture that is the lecture number 41 we had discussed the process login and manage category as level 2 dfds in this lecture we are discussing the level 2 dfd for the process manage item manage order and manage reports so when it comes to the level 2 dfd of manage category that is the third process for every process the admin has to log in so the first process in each and every individual process are login process and during this process, the admin should enter the login credential and these login credentials are processed and forwarded or verified with the database admin detail and the reply is given to the process and the process respond to the admin. If the credentials are correctly given, then the second process of this level 2 that is the add item is initiated. In this add item process, the admin can add or update new set of data and these changes are to be reflected in the database item list. The item list is updated and that updated list should be reflected in the website and the admin should verify the new set of data in the website too. While adding a data, the admin can also perform some other processes like change the price or change the quantity process. In this change price or change quantity, the admin can update the information of the existing set of data. These existing set of data are stored in the item list and while the third process 3.2 process that is the change price or change quantity process. The process communicate with the database by the update information message and the database item list responds or reply to the process change price bar quantity. This change should be verified by the admin in the final set. And finally, the admin can delete an item from a website. While deleting an item, the process should ensure that the item is removed from the database item list. While removing a data from the item list, 
the database reply to the process and this communication is verified by the website admin so this is the level 2 diagram for the manage category process so the manage category process is expanded into individual independent different processes when it comes to the manage order process that is a fourth process in this process too the website admin has to log in he has to log in based upon the login credentials and these login credentials are verified by suitable programs or set of instructions with the database admin details database contains the exact or correct constraints and credentials that mean can proceed to the next process that is a view order process in the view order process the admin can view the independent orders provided by or given by the individual customer these orders can be verified by viewing the item list database this item list database is updated or inserted by the customer and the admin can check or view the cart or order list of each and every customer while verifying with this item list the admin can proceed with the next step that is the update order in the update order the admin can update the recent actions taken to that particular order whether the order is packed dispatched or delivered these actions are reflected in the item list database and the item list database changes based upon the actions performed by the website admin and the final process in this manage order scenario is the dispatch of that particular or deliver of that product in the dispatch or delivering process the admin should reflect that change in the item list database so here we can see in each and every process the databases are associated and updated based upon the different actions performed by the admin the final second level dfd is the manage report dfd in this example so in the manage report data flow diagram the website admin login into the system based upon the exact scenarios as we mentioned in the previous set of lectures and the login credentials are verified with the admin detail database the second that is 5.1 process is a user report process here the admin can verify the reports of independent individual users or customers these reports are generated depend upon the database user report which is updated by the customer so the customer entered the different data so the customer data into this user report database and the admin can view this user report database the 5.2 process that is the third process the item report that is each and individual items available in the website can be viewed updated and deleted by the admin and these changes are reflected in the item list database the 5.3 process is the order report that is the administrator can verify the different orders in process as well as the previous orders and the final process is the payment report process and this payment report process is in connection or synchronized with the pay detail database which is a two side database that is this database is available to the admin side as well as to the customer side so this is a second level dfd at the manage report level so my dear students in this lecture we had discussed the second level dfd for the manage item manage order and manage report at the admin side of the online website so dear students hope you had understood this topic so in the previous two lectures we had discussed the level 0 level 1 and in the last lecture and this lecture we had discussed the level 2 dfd is for the admin side of the online shopping website so dear students hope you had understood this topic and dear students kindly go through this assignment question and the assignment question is draw the level 2 dfd for the atm transaction so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the different level dfds at the user level 
or the customer level of the online shopping website so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best